How's it going everyone? I'm Adam Molina and this is the new cat phone, the S61. Now let's get this out of the way right now. It isn't what I would call a pretty phone, but that's fine because it isn't meant to be. You might know Caterpillar from their giant yellow construction vehicles, but they're not new to the smartphone game. The original S60 was the first smartphone with a thermal camera, and the S61 is an upgraded version that improves upon that functionality in a few significant ways. The first is that it's simply a better camera, so the image quality in the FLIR thermal imaging camera is a little more refined than in the previous model. The range was also increased so that it can pick up temperatures up to 400 degrees Celsius. That's 752 degrees Fahrenheit for Americans like me. It's pretty cool to use, but the experience wasn't as snappy as I would have liked. Before I was able to go full snake mode and see in thermal vision, I had to deal with the app crashing twice. But once I got it going, it was definitely one of the cooler things I've seen here at MWC. The slight lag is probably because the phone is running what I can only assume is some pretty resource intensive software, all on a fairly mid-range chip, the Snapdragon 630. Now the phone is running Android Oreo and Caterpillar promised that it's going to receive an update to Android Pop-Tart when it gets announced, but we'll have to wait and see how timely that happens. Besides thermal vision, there are also some other pretty nifty tools built into the phone, like a laser distance measuring tool and air quality sensor. Not exactly features that the masses will be rushing to the stores to get, but for people that work in particular fields, they're really useful features that you can have right on the phone in your pocket. Speaking of which, if you haven't noticed already, this phone is big and bulky, and it feels like you're holding a small brick in your hand. But it also feels built like a tank. Its aluminum edges and hard plastic construction is not only durable with an IP68 certification that means it's dustproof and can be submerged for up to an hour in three meters of water, but it's also surprisingly grippy, which should help to minimize drops. Though even if you do drop it, Cat claims that it will survive falls on solid concrete up to 1.8 meters in height. The display is 5.2 inches and made of Gorilla Glass 5 but don't expect any breathtaking visuals. It was a good screen, but not a great one, at least from what we experienced on the show floor. By default, the phone comes with 64 gigabytes of storage, but next to the SIM card tray on the left side is a micro SD card slot for expandable memory. Under that, there's this yellow multifunction button that I find to be the best part about the phone design-wise. I'm all for colored buttons, like the ones on the Pixel 2, and the fact that this one is the same orange yellowish color that you see at construction sites is pretty clever. The selfie camera is 8 megapixels, while the back camera is rocking a 16 megapixel shooter that's also capable of shooting 4K video. Now again, this phone isn't much of a looker, but I really didn't like the weird hump that it has along the top. It could be because of the CAT branding, but I found it to be a little obtrusive in a way that's too much even for a giant phone like this. As far as actually using the phone, I found the buttons to be clicky and responsive, and they're spaced apart nicely so that even with gloves, you probably won't have a problem doing what you need to do. Speaking of which, the screen also works if you're wearing gloves, so there's that. Now there are a bunch of other useful applications that we weren't able to test out on the show floor, like built-in vehicle diagnostics and asphalt monitoring, but overall everything that we tried worked pretty well. Now if this sounds like the perfect phone for you, then you better start saving your pennies because it's going to cost 899 euros. That's basically a thousand US dollars. But I can't see construction companies buying these without a second thought just because of the durability. What you sacrifice in aesthetics, you gain in hardware, save for the chipset. But it's good to see this niche continue to be filled. What do you think of the Cat S61? Let us know in the comments down below and continue to follow us for more MWC coverage. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and of course click that notification bell so you'll be the first to know every time we upload a new video because we are your source for all things Android.